Okay, but first up, he was just re-elected to his third term as U.S. Rep from California's 15th, and it's his birthday, Congressman Eric Swalwell. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. All right, that's your... That's what we got. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That the... <laughs> okay. What was your wish? Uh, to be with my family, but if I can't be with them, I want to be with the real time. Yeah, you must really want to be president because <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday and you're here on my show. That's right. And it's how many? 38? 38. Oh, wow. Wow. That's, now, that makes you a Scorpio? I'm Scorpio. That's right. You believe in astrology? <laughs> no. No, no, no. It's Good. fun to watch. You got my vote. <laughs> Done. I'll just... <laughs> Don't you love California? <laughs> okay. So you were in Iowa recently. I was. You like corn. That's I do, what... <laughs> and I like celebrating. And we won two congressional seats there. In I Iowa. know, but there's 50 states. Why go to that one? And we almost won this, the seat where I was born to beat Steve King, and we're going to get him next time. Oh, you were born in Iowa. Yeah, I was born. Oh. But I, I put How out... convenient. Yeah. <laughs> By accident of birth. Yeah. Okay, but I mean, you are talked about as someone who might be running. You would be the youngest president ever if you were the president in 2021. Yeah, and what I've gone to Iowa for is to help us, you know, put two <laughs> new candidates in place, but also I am considering it. Uh, and I think our country needs new energy, new ideas, and a new confidence. And people in Iowa... <laughs> <laughs> people in the heartland or along the coast, they believe that if you work hard, it should add up to something, that you do better for yourself and dream bigger for your kids. And right now we have a Trump slump, top floor economy where it only works for people who work on the top floor, and everyone else is just getting screwed. But how do you win a state like Iowa? I mean, Obama won it the first time, right? He won Indiana, too, and a bunch of other high right. states. Okay, there's some Democrats who seem to have the key to it. Amy Klobuchar, Minnesota's not always easy. Um, Sherrod Brown, uh, John Tester, uh, Manchin in West Virginia. W what is that secret to, to, the, to take the toxic out of the D next to your name in so much yeah. of the middle of this country. You gotta show up and listen. I'm the son of two Republicans. Uh, my brothers are cops, they're right? Republicans. I worked as a prosecutor in law enforcement, and so I, I understand what right. a lot of them care about, which I think is what you and I care about, which again is that right now, too many families are seeing their health care protections gutted. They're seeing they're working hard and they're paying for tax cups at the top. Their communities aren't being invested in. By accident, I think Donald Trump stumbled onto a lot of these issues, people who felt like they were disconnected, weren't seen, weren't heard, but he's not delivering for them. And I, I don't think you have to insult those people. You just have to tell them how you're going to deliver for them. So how would you deliver for them? Modern schools in every community, hmm. once and for all. <laughs> once and for all, join the rest of the first world and have a health care guarantee uh, in our country. Well, that's interesting because now the Democrats kind of ran on health care for this election yeah. and it worked. And it was Nancy Pelosi's, not only her idea to do that. She was the architect. Well, she got it passed, Obamacare. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, the pre existing conditions thing, sure. which really resonated with a lot of people because they have pre existing conditions. Uh, so now a lot of people want to, and your party seem to want to dump her. Um, I've heard talk like, well, we have other qualified women. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have to be a woman, right? I mean, we're... It we're, has to be the most qualified person, and I she's was, the best leader we have. Right, I mean... Uh, okay. Yeah. And, 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 Bill, she was the architect of the Affordable Care Act. These candidates ran on protecting health care, and that was top of mind at the ballot box. And if we're going to protect what Donald Trump has taken a wrecking ball to, we need her there leading us. And for people who say... Uh, you know, the argument was Nancy Pelosi's a drag on uh, Congress, and we're not going to win as many seats. This is the biggest pickup for Democrats since Watergate. So yeah. why, does, well, why does Kevin McCarthy get promoted right. and you're going to fire Nancy Pelosi? Also, uh, yes, she's effective. She's proved that. Also, whoever is in that job, they're going yeah. to, to trash. They're going to try to make as look as shitty as possible. That's right. So why not use her? Because she's already yeah. pre-tarnished. Yeah. Why, why ruin a whole new person? <laughs> right. And, we saw this. We saw this in yeah. 2002, right? Uh, you saw Max Cleland, uh, three right. triple amputee. Right. They turned him into Osama bin Laden. They're not going to canonize you just exactly. because you're now the person 
in the chair. I think it, it's a mistake to replace her. We should be uniting right now. There's a lot of work to do for the American people. Okay, so... I've read your tweets after the election, and, you know, you were saying to Donald Trump, kind of right in your face, welcome to democracy, you know, we have oversight now, but it's only the House, it's not the Senate. What can you really do? Protect the country now. How? Well... I mean, I get it that you can subpoena stuff, and you can have witnesses. I, you can't impeach them, because you don't have the Senate. Right. They have to convict. There's not 67 senators, so you're not going to impeach them, right? Right. We're, okay. we're going to investigate where the Republicans are unwilling to investigate. But for the last two years, have been defined by just panic and outrage by everything that he's done and trampled on our democracy and the rule of law. Now, because people cared and they went to town halls and town squares and marched, they voted to put a check on these abuses of power. So we can protect health care. We can protect paychecks, make sure that no more people are paying for folks at the top. But most importantly, we can protect our democracy and investigate where they were unwilling to. So presidential immunity... That's over. But if people don't care about the findings, I mean, like, the New York Times did an exhaustive search on his tax returns, or what he paid in taxes, and how he got his money, and it was an amazing result that they found. I mean, his, his whole origin story was a lie. He said, I started with a little pittance from my father, maybe a million dollars. He got over $400 million from his father. <laughs> no one cared. Why would, why would they care when you throw another bunch of evidence on the pile that he's a crook? Because we're going to see his tax returns. The American people will know if the president... <laughs> I, I, but here's why it's a... We'll see his tax returns... It's going to be... You know it's going to be sh it's shady. You know it's going to be this shell companies. It's going to be very hard to... It's not going to say right there, he cheated. Yeah. And people are going to go, yeah, he's smart. He got out of paying taxes. I'd love to do that, too. But if he promises that he's going to make their life better because he did so in his own uh, personal career and it turns out that that was all a fraud, people are going to care. They want to know if the president is a tax cheat and they also want to know if it's affecting our national security. We have seen decisions on Russia, <laughs> decisions in Saudi Arabia... They are being driven because of his prior financial interests. So, again, those days are over. We can now intervene, interdict, and just stop the president from cashing in on access to Even the Even if he has the attorney general... I mean, I, I feel like this Matthew Whitaker story is, is not getting what it should. It was last week's story. It's still an outrage this week yeah. that he put a stooge in there. This is what third-world dictators do. I know Democrats are thrilled. Hey, we, have divert we got an Eskimo. He got the attorney general. Right. And we're not powerless anymore, though. And I've tried to, you know, encourage my colleagues that if this had happened and we weren't in the majority, we should be panicked. But now let's project confidence and tell the American people, you elected us to stop this. We're going to stop this. And so we're going to protect Bob Mueller. Okay. We're going to make sure that this hired assassin who was brought in to take out the Mueller investigation <laughs> is not able to do it. And also we're going to do all we can to get him to recuse himself because he's prejudged the investigation and he has been plotting for months with Donald Trump to do this. So... The American people have spoken. They want a balance of power over an abuse of power. Okay. Um, well, I'm glad that you guys took the House. How many seats are you going to think you have? Like 38, 39? It'll be close to 40. That's a lot. Almost all of California, even okay. Orange County. Single is digits flipped. in California. Yes. <laughs> My final question Do we really need two Dakotas? I've seen. I bring this up quite often, but, you know, I mean, it's not fair that California, with yeah. 40 million people, gets two senators, and Dakotas, with yeah. about 800,000 people, get four! We, I think that's where we start the reform. You could start that, yeah. Congressman. Well, if I want a good Thanksgiving with my mom, who was born in South Dakota, I'm oh. going to say yes, but we should start <laughs> going back to the Dakotas, because we have had Democratic senators there again. Right. We can win in Kansas. We just did. We can win in Nebraska and Oklahoma. There you go. We have before, so let's That's start going to That's what I want to hear. Eric Swalwell. Thank Happy you. birthday, Thank Mr. You. Eric Swalwell.